guys, welcome to the channel, it's Tara Lynn, and today's Pick a Pile reading is going to be focused all on the Temperance card, and so I have three different piles for you guys to choose from, and so if you want to meditate on the cards, go back to the beginning of the video and pause the video, but I'm also going to hold up all the different cards for you guys to see. So this is going to be pile number one, and this Temperance card is from the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And then we have pile number two, and this temperance card is from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. And then we have pile number three, and this temperance card is from the Tarot of the Haunted House. So I wanted to focus on the temperance card energy because while I'm filming this, we are in Sagittarius season. And I want to add that even though I'm filming this video at this time, it's going to be a timeless message. So whenever you come across this video, it's going to be bringing this temperance energy into your life. And so my goal with this reading today is to show you where you need to find balance in your life, what is already balanced, and kind of what energy do you need to bring into your life to have everything flow in harmony. And this way you're able to use the surrounding energy to the best of your abilities and you're able to transform any negative energy that's currently going on and things that aren't in balance. You can find ways to correct them and you can heal from things. And so that's my goal with today's reading is to kind of give you a little bit of guidance on where you need to improve and what's going really good for you and what you just need to continue you doing so that you stay on the right path and so I suggest taking time to breathe in and out a couple times really ground yourself in your energy and then meditate on the different piles and see which one is calling to you you can always watch more than one whatever resonates for you this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't if you find that this reading does resonate I would really appreciate if you would hit subscribe I post multiple readings a week and I would love to have you guys a part of this family also give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you want to see more pick a pile readings and with all that being said I'm gonna start with pile number one. So for those of you who picked pile number one, I went ahead and put your card off to the side here, and I went ahead and pulled some cards for you. So we have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, Three of Coins reversed, the World card, and King of Coins reversed. So with all these coins being reversed, this is telling me that some of you guys might be actual earth signs or you have a lot of earth in your placements and currently you are not really in alignment, you're not currently in balance. But it's also telling me with the queen and king of coins both reversed that you are having trouble with grounding yourself and you're also having trouble with balancing the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine energy. And we have this queen of coins reversed. Too. And so what this is telling me, some of you guys, if you do have major earth placements and you're dating someone who has major earth placements, that there could be issues in your relationship um, due to a third party. Now this doesn't always mean cheating. This could be like some third person is coming between you guys and causing issues. This could be a relative. I feel like some of you guys, this is a coworker, so definitely pay attention to this. I feel like this is saying you could have issues coming your way and just be prepared for them and really um, know that if anything comes up, you can work through it because we have the world card, but it's definitely going to be a big challenge for you because the nine of wands is all about difficulties and facing challenges. And so you have the ability to work through them, but with this four of wands here, this is saying that you really have to pay attention and think outside of the box. You're going to have things that you're missing that you're not open to, and that's really going to hurt you. And I feel like that's because the back of the deck energy is the high priestess reverse. So your intuition currently is not in sync. Um, it's kind of thrown off. This could be if it is about a relationship that you your emotions are getting the better of you and that's why you really need to ground yourself and that's why spirit wants you to pay attention to this earth energy I'm also sensing for those of you where this isn't your relationship that this is really talking about grounding yourself balancing yourself because you're going to be facing a lot of difficulties a lot of um, challenges and it's gonna be very easy for you to get caught up in your emotions and especially with the nine of wands here this is saying that you might be given into that fiery um, passionate hot-headed side of you and you really make and you really need to make sure that you're grounding yourself, that you're staying zen, and that you are not letting all these negative emotions get the better of you. Because I feel like it's gonna be very easy for you to get caught up in drama and pettiness, especially in the workplace. To pay attention to your coworkers and just be the bigger person in whatever situation this is. With this four of wands, I wanna point out that this is saying that you have the ability to reach your highest alignment, that you have the ability to be the best that you wanna be, but you have that high priestess reversed. So that's telling me that you're blocked. You have this alignment, it's way 
waiting for you, but see how she's not facing it? She's not owning it. That's your energy right now. It's like you don't see what you have. You don't see the life you're manifesting. And so what this is telling me that your subconscious is really manifesting a whole lot and you just have not really seen it. And that's why we have the world card because this is saying with this temperance energy, it's really a time to focus your energy. It's really a time to close things, end things, um, learn from past mistakes and end those karmic cycles. And that's what I'm feeling you're gonna be doing once you figure out how to ground yourself. Cause I feel like that's a challenge that you keep facing. And so with this nine of wands, it's really telling you to pay attention to your emotions because you're gonna have that fiery, hot headed energy getting the better of you. And so you really have to stay grounded because I feel like things could be really petty or you could be giving into petty drama. And it's like, you don't need to do that. You need to stay grounded. You need to become the bigger person. But right now you're not doing that. Right now you're out of sync. And I feel like some of your issues with your relationship could be that you're being too emotional and you're thinking that there's something sketchy going on and there might not be anything actually going on. And it's all about your perception and uh, not allowing your emotions to overrule your life because that high priestess is reversed. So I feel like some of you guys, your intuition is going to be off because you're going to be trusting your ego and you're not going to be listening to your actual intuition. You're going to be, um, you're gonna be confusing your ego for your intuition. And so that's definitely something to pay attention to. The way you can tell if it's ego, it's going to be based in emotion. So your intuition would be saying, I don't get a good feeling about it. And that would be it. It wouldn't be trying to justify it to yourself. Anytime that it's trying to justify it to you, where it's like, I don't feel good about this because this could go wrong and this could happen. That's more so your fear and your ego happening. Your intuition is just going to be this gut feeling where it's like, I can't explain why this isn't right, but it doesn't feel right. And so that's kind of the way you can tell them apart. So I went ahead and pulled some more cards for you. And so we have the six of earth reversed. We have emotions, we have faith, and we have the nine of earth. So starting with this emotion card, this is really showing you the balance that you need in your life, that this temperance energy is showing you. Where see how she's staying grounded and above her negative emotions, where she could give in to the fears and the darkness, but she's not going to allow herself to. She's really rising above it, seeing the silver light, seeing the, um, seeing the bright side out of everything and trusting that things are going to be okay. And with this faith card, this is talking about having faith in yourself, having faith in your abilities, and really knowing that you have the ability with this world card to overcome any challenges that you're facing to make it through any difficult challenge. Because with this nine of wands, this is saying that you're gonna be facing challenges, but they don't have to define you. You are going to navigate and find solutions to them, and that's what's actually going to define you. And I feel like once you pay attention to how you do things, why you do things, you're gonna end up getting rewarded for that because you have this nine of earth. And so this is having the good things come to you and being generous where you're giving back and you're taking at the same time, where it's like you're getting back all the energy you're putting out. And that's where this temperance energy comes into play because it's all about alchemy it's all about balance and so it's like you put something out into the universe and the universe sends that back to you it returns everything and because right now I feel like with the six of earth reversed it's like you don't feel like things are balanced you don't feel like you're getting back all the energy you're putting out and I feel like that's because a lot of you guys with this emotion card you're currently putting out these negative emotions you're putting out these fears you're putting out this negative energy where you don't see the bright side of things where you're not being grounded and so you're allowing your your mind to spiral and so you can't find your way out of any of these situations and these challenges you face because you're too focused on being stuck in them you're too focused on complaining or sitting and wallowing in everything that's happening to you instead of being like okay this situation sucks but what can I do about it? That's what spirit wants you to do because it's like, yes, the situation may suck, but just sitting in that isn't gonna do you any good. You actually have to get stronger than your emotions, pull yourself out of this so that you can find the balance to make this card go upright where you are getting that equal exchange of energy and where it doesn't feel like everything's just not coming to you anymore because I feel like that's what's really going on with you guys is that you wanna see the good in things, but it's so hard for you with everything that you're being put through and what spirit is saying it's like the reason why you keep being put through these things is because you need to learn to rise above it and through that you're going to realize that you are in alignment with yourself it's just a matter of actually turning around and seeing it because right now it's like you're so close to it but it's you don't see it yet you don't realize it it's like you're walking and you're in this 
cloudy fog and it's like you don't know which way is what but it's like all of a sudden once you overcome your emotions that fog is going to clear and everything's going to become bright and you're going to be like oh my god I'm so close to it I only have five more steps because you're having that faith card it's not about seeing where you're going but it's about trusting yourself and unblocking your intuition unblocking that high priestess card and actually having faith that you're doing the right things and that you actually know where you're meant to go and that's why it's really important for you guys to ground yourself what I would recommend to ground yourself is doing meditations YouTube has really good ones that you can watch you can also go outside and just spend more time in nature you can go swimming you can even just focus on your breathing anything that just slows your mind down and gets you to focus on being in the present is going to help you and especially if you guys are freaking out about your job or your relationship or these challenges that you're facing as long as you take time to actually breathe through them don't let your emotions continue to spiral when you feel like your emotions are starting to overwhelm you do something to calm you down so that you can start approaching the situation with the level head and you can see all the different solutions so that you can face these challenges and overcome them and for your last message from spirit you have the Y card reverse I'm gonna flip it upright so you guys can see it and see how it's like she has this book right here that she's leaning forward to to touch she's learning she's studying and that's why you're going through this spirit is saying even though you're confused now you're supposed to be the student you're supposed to learn and that's what you're doing right now so you're going through these challenges so you can learn to ground yourself so you can learn to balance yourself and not rely on other people to balance yourself for you because I feel like a lot of you guys you've been letting other people show you the way or um, they've kind of been holding your hand for a little bit where you've been relying on them you've been too dependent on them and so the spirits kind of taking off the training wheels and they're saying no you can ride this bike by yourself you can do it yourself you if you fall down you're gonna pick yourself back up and that's why you have the why card because you guys are actually learning the answer to this why you're understanding it and even though it's confusing now and you're asking it at the end of this lesson once you reach this conclusion with the world card you're not going to be asking why anymore and I also want to point out that the back of the deck energy for you guys is this co-create card and so this is saying that you are currently co-creating your own life whatever manifestation whatever vision you have you can overcome whatever challenge you're facing now and you can co-create the life you want you can go out and live on this tightrope and know that you're not gonna fall because if you do you have wings you're this owl you can fly away and that's what spirit wants you to do it's like whatever you face go into it not being afraid to fail because that's your emotions you don't need to feel these negative thoughts prior to starting something just go in think all the positive emotions you can tell yourself positive affirmations just repeat positive mantras to yourself that you can do it that you will succeed and that things are going to change for the better for you and you're going to get that because you're gonna co-create your life you're gonna find this balance where you put out the good things and you get them back in return and that's what spirit wants you to know like the moment you ground yourself the moment that you focus on this coin energy and you actually stop stressing about things and just trust and have faith that things are gonna be okay and that you are finding the solutions that you are going to make them okay and you approach things with a level head and don't let your emotions get the better of you you're gonna succeed and that's what spirit wants you to know no matter what challenge you face you have the potential to be your worst enemy or your best ally and that's what you need to do you need to be your best ally so that you can make it through the situation so that you can have endings that you can have closure and you can walk away and walk into this four of wands energy where you have everything you want but when you finally realize it that's what the co-create card is saying it's like you are going to find the answers with this why card that you will have everything you need you will be your own resource you will be the only thing that you need and in turn you can create anything you want and that's what spirits telling you it's like you need it to hear this message so that you realize that you have the potential in yourself to be the best version of yourself and that there's nothing standing in your way and that even though you're facing challenges you are going to get through them you can succeed and you will overcome them and that's really what's important for you guys to understand it's like even though it's confusing even though it might not be clear you are going to make it through this this challenge this hardship that you're facing is only temporary it's not gonna be forever the only way it's gonna be forever is if you don't do anything to help yourself but as long as you start to balance yourself start to ground yourself and focus on what's important and focus on being the best version of yourself then you're gonna be rewarded for that and so just stay above any drama stay above any pettiness and just know and trust in yourself that whatever situation falls apart you're gonna get better because you deserve better because you're acting better so I hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the YouTube comments down below I would love to have you guys a part of this family so definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you all in my next video. I'm going to go on to pile number two.
So they'll see who picked pile number two. I went ahead and put your temperance card off to the side here. And I went ahead and pulled some cards for you guys. So you have the queen of pentacles reversed, the fool card, ace of wands, three of wands, and the lovers reversed. So I'm getting the sense with this Queen of Pentacles card reversed that you guys, you're blocked when it comes to actually knowing just how powerful you are, actually embracing who you truly are. I feel like you kind of put yourself down. And I say that because we also have the Queen of Wands reversed for the back of the deck energy. And so with the two Queens reversed, this is really telling me that you guys are not actually acknowledging just how amazing you are, just how powerful you are and how strong you are. And especially with this pentacles energy, this is saying that I feel like you kind of put value onto other people or you're putting your value onto someone else or like you're judging yourself based on how this person perceives you. And what you're meant to learn with this temperance card reading is that you don't need to do that anymore. You have that amazing ability in yourself to love yourself and to be enough for yourself. You can find emotional fulfillment through yourself because I feel like a lot of you guys with this lover's card reversed that you guys are going through a situation with someone in your life this could be a twin flame relationship that I'm picking up on where you guys are kind of on and off again you're not in union or you are in union but something really feels off I feel like a lot of you guys you're in separation you've been broken up and I feel like you're kind of at this point where it's like you know you're better than this person like you are about to be this fool and step off on your own journey and I feel like you have new options coming for you with the ace of wands and the three of wands because this is talking about a new journey for you. This could be a journey of self-love, of self-discovery, but this could also be a new relationship with someone new with this Ace of Wands. But either way, I feel like this person, whoever this lover's card was, this person wants you back. And for those of you where this isn't a relationship, I could feel like this could be related to your home life or to work, where it's like whatever person walked away from you, where they weren't appreciating you or they were undervaluing you, they let you go and so for some of you guys this was a job that actually let you go and so now they're kind of looking at everything and they're assessing and they want you back they're coming in and trying to make you an offer but you're at this point where you've learned a lot about yourself even though you're not fully there you still got a lot to do when it comes to self-love and actually embracing yourself you come a long way from this person and I feel like it was due to them leaving of this lover walking away where you were able to realize how good you were how much you gave to them how much time you invested Invested, and now you're putting that energy into yourself and now you're kind of looking at them like really you're gonna try and come back because I feel like you're at a point where even though you care and you love them and a part of you wants to go back you know you can't you know you can't undo the past and so it's like you're making the choice to move forward you're making the choice to walk away and that's where this temperance card comes into play because you're finding that balance in your life where you're accepting what could have been what the potential was for but realizing that that is not sustainable that you have all these better options coming your way and and why are you going to give yourself to that lower vibration, to that situation that did not serve you because they let you go because you thought that you were dependent on them and now you're learning that you're not dependent on them. You don't need them. And so that's what you're really learning right now is that you are better than this. Like you are a boss and you can get whatever you want. You have multiple options coming through and I feel like they're going to come in very quickly and I feel like they're going to be very unexpected for you. And so I feel like if this person does come back, if they do hit you up, you can just say no to them because you don't need them that's what you're learning like all you need is yourself and you're good because you got so many blessings coming your way I really feel like you're in this very powerful manifestation time period and you haven't even realized it but it feels like you're starting this new chapter of your life I feel like you're just closing that door and it's like you're finally able to unload it's like when you get back from a trip and you have all this luggage that you get to unpack and you finally get to reset that's what's going on in your life right now it's like you were carrying around this person's baggage and now you're done with it now you dropped it off and you're good to go and now now you have this tiny little bag that's full of your stuff and you get to move on with it and you don't have to worry about the past drama, the past situation. You are free and there's going to be a lot of people coming your way. This is not just in romance, but this is in friendships. This is in um, networking relationships. There's a, new there's a new potential coming in and it's going to be coming in very quickly. So I went ahead and pulled some more cards and we have body and mind reversed and then we have the sensual reversed. And so I'm gonna start with this body and mind card. This is really saying that right now your body and mind is not in alignment. And I feel like some of you guys, this comes to what food and nutrients you're putting into your body because I feel like you're eating foods that are making you feel worse about yourself and that's where your lack of confidence come from. 
and that's where your lack of confidence is stemming from. I feel like that's what's making you feel bad about yourself. So some of you, I would suggest, you don't have to completely change your diet, but I feel like there's like a specific one or two items you're eating that you know isn't good for you, and so just kind of lay off of them and see if that helps you create more harmony in your body where you start to feel better about yourself. I also feel like this is sinking your mind and your body because some of you guys, uh, you're not actually comprehending just how beautiful you are, and you're kind of feeling like you're more ugly than you are, and so you're not actually seeing what other people see and I feel like you really need to take time work on that learn to appreciate yourself learn to appreciate your body and start seeing that you aren't ugly and that you don't need to put yourself down anymore because I really feel like by separating from this situation by becoming less dependent on it you are going to see the beauty of yourself and with this sensual card I actually want to read directly from the guidebook because I feel like it's gonna be really beneficial for you and so it says is your loyalty to another blinding you to their true nature and intentions is it creating tension in your relationships with others are you you blindly following another's lead and embracing what could be as a pack mentality this card acts that you do not follow blindly question everything look to the reasons and motives behind your chosen leaders actions and ask yourself if you were serving them for the greater good or for their own good and so I really want you guys to ask yourself that when this person comes back when they have an offer to you is it something that's actually gonna benefit you or are they just gonna keep using you and hurt you in the process to make themselves feel better because I feel like they really see that you are leveling up that you are bringing blessings and abundance towards you because you are going to be working on yourself. You're healing yourself. You're not pining consistently over them anymore. Even if a part of you wants you back, it's not solely focused on that. You're focused on yourself. You're focusing on bettering yourself and they're going to see that. And then once you're doing better, they're going to come back in and want a piece of that. And you don't need to give that to them anymore because the back of the deck energy for you guys is abundance. You are getting blessings coming your way. And so whatever they could offer you, there's going to be people that can offer you better and you can also offer yourself better and I feel like you're going to be lowering yourself if you have to go back to the situation because it's not meant for you like your lesson was that you're meant to walk away from it you're not meant to continue with them anymore and that's okay and that you just need to learn that you can get whatever you want you don't need to settle you don't need to hold on for them anymore because they're not worth your time so for your last card, we have Loyal Heart. And so this is really telling me that your biggest block at this moment is going to be where your loyalty lies. And I feel like it's really important for you to learn that your loyalty is to yourself first. You have to protect yourself because no one else is gonna protect you. And so you really need to make sure that you're making decisions that aren't going to hurt your heart, that aren't going to hurt you and make you have to start over and heal all over again. Because I really feel like you're on track to get way better things than you ever expected. And I really feel like you're on track to heal yourself and so don't backtrack because you believe someone because you're believing in someone because I feel like you have a really big heart I feel like you're very generous and that's a good thing for you but it's also something that hurts you and that's what spirit wants you to be aware of as well it's great to believe the best in people you also have to be realistic and you can't live in the potential of a situation you can't live in the potential of what could manifest you have to live in the reality of things and so if you're not feeling happy due to this person's actions or this situation actions you don't need to hold on to it anymore because your loyalty has to be to yourself you have to protect yourself and so anyone can make promises but if they don't actually hold up their promises then you don't need to hold on to people that are just deceiving you with lies and deception to make you stay because in the long term it's not going to serve you your loyalty is going to be them but it's not actually gonna do you any good and so by putting the loyalty onto yourself you're doing what's best for you and you're never gonna go wrong by listening to yourself and your intuition and that's what spirit wants you to know it's like you have to have a loyal heart, but you also have to have a smart heart. And if you have all these abundance and blessings coming to you, then why are you going to settle for something that's below your standards? Because even though you might not realize how high your standards are, you are capable of getting these good things. That's what spirit wants you to know. Even though you might not have the highest level of confidence, you are going to heal yourself. You are going to gain that confidence back. And you just have to believe in yourself and know that you're worthy of these good things. They're not coming to you because you don't deserve them. Spirit doesn't give you things that you don't deserve. And so by getting this abundance coming to you and by starting this new fool's journey, it's actually something that you have worked for. You just haven't realized it. And it's kind of a reward for learning the lesson in all of this by learning what your value is. And by doing that, you're actually going to open so many more doors for you. So just protect yourself. Make sure that you don't give in to bad people or negative energy and that you do things that serve you and you don't do things that hinder you because that's what spirit really wants you to stay protected 
protected from. It's knowing what is actually in the best interest of yourself and to stop living in the potential of things because that's not going to serve you, especially when you have so many good things on the way. You don't need potential to make you happy. You're gonna be happy. You just gotta give it time. So I really hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you like this, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of this family. And with all that being said, I'm gonna move on to pile number three. So for those of you who picked pile number three, I put your temperance card off to the side here and I went ahead and pulled some cards for you. So we have the five of wands, the empress card, six of cups, queen of swords reversed, and the high priestess. So I want to say that before we get into this reading that I'm picking up a lot of fire energy. So you could be fire sign yourself or you could be dealing with people who have a lot of fire in their chart. But I feel like with this five of wands that there's going to be conflict in your life but that there's also going to be conflict within yourself where it's not even like you arguing with other people. It's more so going to be an internal struggle because we have this empress card here and this is about creativity but it's also about bringing things to life. And so I feel like some of you guys, you have a new idea that you want to bring to life but you're not sure how to go about it and so you have this conflict with yourself and I feel like with this high priestess card that your intuition is correct and that you really just need to accept it and that you are meant to go on this new path that you are meant to birth this thing into existence and that it's going to be okay that you're going to get out of this struggle and you're going to be able to find peace I also feel like some of you guys you could be dealing with a family member who doesn't necessarily agree with you about this idea and so they're creating conflict in your life they could be a potential air sign or like I said they could be a fire sign from that fire energy I've been picking up this could also be your own energy where it's like you have this idea but you're also detaching from something I feel like you're creating distance between you and others and I feel like this card could even be saying that with this Empress energy you were really focused on creating this on bringing it into existence that you don't really have time for other people so you're gonna be pulling away you're gonna become detached from them but not in a bad way it's just you're reprioritizing your time you're focusing on yourself right now but I feel like you're able to create balance in your life you just really need to know that whatever situation comes up whatever conflict comes up you are going to be able to solve it you are going to be able to get past it because you don't need to let it weigh you down because you have this idea this journey is going to lead you to success you're gonna get exactly where you need to be and you just need to trust yourself and your instincts because I feel like this is a really good idea and for some of you guys where this is like an actual child coming into your life I feel like some of you guys have been struggling if you're ready to be a parent and I feel like this is confirmation that you are and that you just need to let go of any of your fears and you don't need to hold on to them anymore because they're not going to serve you. And so we also have this integrity card and this is really telling me that with this Empress energy, with this idea, with this creativity, it's your job to have integrity with it. Don't be swayed by what other people are saying about it and don't let your negativity make you do something that you'll regret. It's about staying true to yourself and staying authentic. And that's with anything in life, like just staying authentic to yourself. That's really gonna bring you the balance that you need because I feel like your intuition is really guiding you correctly. You have the high priestess upright, and this is telling me that you're very level-headed, that you know what judgment calls are going to be best for you, but with this conflict in your life, sometimes it's easy for you guys to get distracted and to get swayed by it, and you don't need to do that because with this integrity card, this is really saying that you need to balance that. That's going to be the biggest thing you deal with right now is staying true to yourself and to have integrity and to also not get caught up in trying to chase something the way that the main stream portrays it and what I mean by that is that those of you where you're trying to start a new business you're trying to get something off the ground you don't have to fake who you are you don't have to do things that just follow the trend if it doesn't feel right for you don't do it you're gonna grow organically yes it might be different but sometimes that's the best way to gain traction because you're gonna stand out you're gonna be unique and people are gonna like that and so even though you might not be catching the trends right away it's going to be okay because you're gonna succeed because you're gonna stand out you're gonna shine on your own and that's gonna be enough and for those people in your life who are saying it's not gonna work you don't need to listen to them yeah they can talk but at the end of the day that's all it is because you know what's true for you you know what's actually gonna work and you're the one who's growing this no one else is growing it no one else can tell you what this experience is gonna be like for you and it's like with childbirth like every woman goes through it differently so that's the same with your own journey with whatever you're creating this is going to be unique to you and that's what's gonna make it special 
And then your last card is Imagine. And this is literally telling you with this Empress card, anything you imagine you can create, you can birth this idea to life. It doesn't matter how crazy it is, and I just saw an aura fly by. So that's telling me this is confirmation from Spirit. Like whatever you imagine you can create, and they are confirming that Spirit is surrounding you right now. And whatever this idea was, whatever is happening to you and that you're creating, this was divinely guided to you because the back of the deck energy is your higher power. And so this is really telling me that this is your higher power giving you this download, making you think this way, and allowing you to bring it to life. This is your chance. This, what the High Priestess card is saying, that this is divinely guided. This, this is divinely timed. You are meant to step into this energy right now. You are meant to imagine it and to bring it into life. And I really feel like with this temperance energy, it's about finding the balance of knowing when to listen to people, when to take advice, versus when you need to trust yourself and your instincts. And that's really going to be the thing you need to learn with this integrity card, is that you are the one who's going to make the best judgment call because you have the higher power. You are your own higher power. You have your intuition that's divinely guiding you and that's gonna make you succeed. And so this is confirmation from spirit. Like whatever new journey is starting in your life or even if it's an old journey, whatever passion you're following, you're meant to follow it and make it so it succeeds because it's meant for you. Everything is working with you and the only thing that's working against you is the naysayers and you don't need to listen to them. You need to distance yourself from them. And especially some of you guys, I feel like this could be a paternal figure in your life. You just need to know that even though they love you and they might want what's best for you, it doesn't mean that they know what's best for you. You're the only one who knows that and you need to listen to it. And once you do that, once you turn this card upright, everything is going to flow in your life exactly as you need it to and you're going to get exactly where you need to with this new journey and you're going to bring it to life and it's going to work out beautifully for you. So I feel like this is a really positive message and it really sounds like spirit has your back. So in moments when you're doubting yourself, just ask spirit for help and for guidance and pay attention to their messages, especially any angel numbers and I feel like animals are gonna be very important for you too. pay attention to the animals in your life and it's really gonna be showing you the right path for you and allow you to listen to your intuition and it's gonna be a really good journey for you guys and I feel like it's gonna have a really amazing outcome you just got to enjoy the journey quit stressing about all these conflicts in your life because at the end of the day they don't matter it's about your happiness and if you're happy bringing this life and if you trust and know that it's gonna work out then believe in it and just hold on to it because whatever you imagine right now you're manifesting you're going to bring it to you. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. I would love for you guys to be a part of this family, so hit subscribe. I go live and post readings weekly, and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.